Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the TLX system, which is Strawman's new tissue level implant. The original Strawman tissue level implant was introduced over 35 years ago, and it's been a highly successful system, which is still widely used today. One of the biggest advantages of tissue level implants is the absence of an abutment interface gap at the bone level. Having that abutment connection at the tissue level instead is excellent for peri-implant health. The TLX is an evolution of that original implant and features the iconic transmucosal neck design, which is instantly recognizable. Beyond that one design similarity though, this is a completely different system. And whereas it borrows the neck design from the original tissue level implants, it borrows both the implant body and the internal interface from the BLX implant. The original tissue level has the Synocta connection, while the new TLX has the Torque Fit connection that Strawman introduced with the BLX implants in 2019. The Torque Fit connection features a 7 degree internal cone with a star shaped anti rotation element. The advantage of sharing a connection with the BLX line is that you can now use the same surgical kit and drilling protocol for both tissue and bone level implants. And as with the original tissue level implant, there are three different platform diameters available. And those sizes are the 3.5 millimeter NT, the 4.8 millimeter RT, and the 6.5 millimeter WT. And for each size, there are also two neck height options of 1.8 millimeters and 2.8 millimeters. Open and closed tray impression copings are available for each platform size. The open tray impression copings come in two height options of 15 and 21 millimeters, but the closed tray impression copings come in just one height of 11 millimeters. The plastic impression cap and positioning cylinder that are available for the original tissue level implants are not available for the TLX implants. And if you are taking intraoral scans, there's actually just one scan body that works for all of the TLX platforms. And that's because even though there are three different platform sizes, the internal connection is identical across the entire line. Now, having just one scan body will be great for inventory control, but it will be important when using these to communicate the correct platform size to your lab, as they won't be able to discern the size by evaluating the scan body. The restorative options for TLX include all of the standard selections, including Vario Base, Angled Screw Vario Base, CAD Custom Abutments and Bars, UCLA Abutments, and Stock Cementable Abutments. And all of the abutments for the TLX implants fit over the top bevel of the implant. With the original tissue level implants, it was possible to get abutments that nestled inside of the implant so that the top bevel of the implant became the margin for the crown. And this is no longer the case with the TLX system. All of the TLX platforms also share the same clinical screw. The regular basal screw fits all of the standard abutments and the bars, while the AS basal screw is used for the angled vario base abutments. And even though all of the platform sizes share the same internal connection, scan body, and clinical screws, the prosthetic components were not designed to be cross compatible. Each of the TLX prosthetic components are laser etched with the correct platform size to avoid getting them mixed up. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.